part of the appeal of mopeds is is their ease. They're not very complicated machines. I myself am not a very skilled mechanic, but their simplicity makes them easy to approach for someone who's who's kind of learning mechanics or is kind of interested in in just kind of tinkering around and and seeing the effect of their efforts pretty quickly. They're all they're all remnants and relics of the 70s. Um, no new mopeds are really created in the United States after 70s, so they're all. They're all kind of old antiques that have been rumbling around. To fix them, you need to import parts. There's only a few companies, mostly based on the internet, uh, where you can get the parts that you need. A lot of them import from Europe, where production is still going on for mopeds. So you're not really sure what you're getting into until you take off all the covers and, and get a look at the engine and get to play with it a little bit. It's always nerve-wracking to, to start a moped for the first time after you've spent so many hours working on it, repairing it. Uh, troubleshooting with stuff over it. I take it, I take it out and start pedaling it and press the decompression lever on the, on the front there and just try to get any any feeling, any sound of, of it starting over. And oftentimes you'll you'll get pretty close, you'll hear a little bit of compression, you'll 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 get a little bit of gas going and you'll you'll think you're about to take off but then it'll die. But that's pretty encouraging. The most satisfying is certainly when you can feel the moped start to pull underneath you and the the, the headlight come on and you can hear it roar to life and, and you just take off.